can see me and hear me. So this is a small presentation regarding plasma treatment. So I've been uh, asked a lot of questions regarding plasma treatment. And uh, for the past few months, I, I've, I've also treated uh, some patients with a plasma pen. And it's really amazing. So I thought, like, I'll discuss with you guys. And some of the doctors, mm, uh, I have bought some plasma pen for some of the doctors who is jo who has joined in this session. So they also wanted to know about what are the indications, what are the advantages, what are the complications, or what are the contraindications of using a plasma pen. So I just thought like we will do something. Dear doctors, kindly mute your mic and uh, please don't ask me any questions during the uh, during the session. The cost, uh, about the procedure, about uh, the advantages, indications, contraindication, almost everything I'll be trying to cover during this presentation. Okay, so I just uh, uh, closed my OPD. Like I just entered my OPD. So we will just start with our presentation. So I have made a small presentation also regarding plasma. So can anyone just confirm whether uh, my uh, my voice and my video is clear? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much, doctors. Thank you. Yes, so much. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm not wasting any time. So uh, our doctors are also joining the session. Let them join. So meanwhile, in between, uh, in between any of the session, uh, in between any of the session, uh, my voice is not clear or if I'm not audible and all, kindly let me know. Just give me a second. Uh, so coming into the plasma, plasma pen, some call as, uh, what can we say, fibroblast treatment and all those things. So anyways, it is plasma or fibroblast. It is a, it is one and only same thing. Okay, plasma pen treatment. So first of all, what is plasma energy? Most of you might know something about the plasma pen treatment or plasma pen. So for those who those are not aware of, I'm not not aware of the plasma energy, I'm just explaining. So what is plasma energy? Plasma is often called as the fourth state of matter. Along with, as you know, there is, there is a state, there are three states of matter that is like solid, liquid. Dear doctors, kindly mute your mic. I am also distracted and the others cannot hear what I'm saying. So please mute your mic. So uh, just as a liquid will boil, changing into gas when energy is added, heating a gas will form a plasma. And uh, it is a soup of positively charged particles like ions and electrons. It is a soup of that. So plasma is a fourth state of matter. And originally uh, for medical applications and other like industry, like steel industry, aluminum industry, construction industry and all. And plasma emerged as an aesthetic treatment around 2017. That's a brief history. So what happens? What is plasma? So how is it done in a in an acid procedure? So when thermal energy from a plasma device reaches around 1.1 uh, mm or 0.5 to 1 mm from the skin, like it is a it is like a pointed thing. It's like a pen. So when it is above the skin, around 0.5 or 1 mm, it ionizes with oxygen and nitrogen at the tip of the tube from the atmosphere, the oxygen and nitrogen from the atmosphere, it ionizes and creates plasma arc, which vaporizes upon contact with the skin. Okay, I hope you got that. I'll be showing some demo videos and all. Don't worry about that. But this is a, a, a brief history and the theory. So what happens? It ionizes with oxygen and nitrogen at the tip of the probe. And it cre creates a plasma arc, which vaporizes upon contact contacting the skin. That is the plasma energy which we use in the plasma pen treatment. What is plasma pen treatment? So as I have already mentioned, there is an electric charge in the pen. It is powered by a battery, which is electricity. So that electric charge in electrostatic energy and in order to produce the ionization of the nitrogen plasma gas. So the precision of the plasma arc, plasma arc, what do you mean by plasma arc? The energy which is released from the tip is called as a plasma arc. And it is normally, it is kind of bluish color. 
uh, orange to bluish color that is a plasma uh, arcing or the color of the plasma arc so that plasma arc uh, is able to create micro traumas while keeping the lower layers of the skin to target the fibroblast of the skin Sir, you are not audible. Oh my God. Okay, since since when I am not audible? Sure. Okay. So when you were explaining the plasma arc. Plasma arc from that. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Same here, sir. You are not audible. Yeah. Not right audible. Now, uh, right now I am audible. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now yes, you are. Sir. Like the history, and how did you get the history? When I talked about the history, did you get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. When I when I changed the slide, you 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 were not you couldn't hear me. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay. And uh, dear doctors, thank you so much for informing me because when I'm putting in the slide show, I cannot see the Google Meet. So if I'm not audible, kindly let me know. So what happens is like that precision of the plasma arc. The plasma arc is. Normally blue in color. That is how blue, orangish, bluish, bluish color is the plasma arc or the, uh, the the energy. So the plasma arc of the pen it creates a micro trauma on the surface of the epidermis, and it will heat the lower layers of the skin also. So basically, what happens is like uh, it causes a precession trauma and tiny crust, right, tiny burns are created, and which falls off within a few days, leaving new rejuvenated. So there are a lot of indications which we will speak, but basically, normally it is used for skin resurfacing. So what happens in skin resurfacing? That epidermal part will be gone, new skin will come. Similarly, the fibroblast, the collagen, and all those things will be induced. So it is one of the uh, what can we say a good uh, technology or a good treatment for anti-aging. So the micro trauma of the skin engages the natural wound healing process of the body, boosting collagen and creating firmer and smoother skin. The boost in collagen and elastin in the skin can be particularly effective on problems related to loose skin. So uh, there are a lot of indications, and one of the indication is a loose skin or the uh, part of anti-aging. So what are the indications? So the plasma blast or fibroblast or plasma pen, everything is the same thing. So what happens? It lifts and tightens the loose, sagging skin, quickly remove lines and wrinkles. So the advantage of plasma, I'll tell you, when you are doing on a on a wrinkled skin, with your eyes itself on that moment itself, you can see a, a mild tightening happening. Then when it is burning, the contraction happens, and you can see the uh, you can see the, uh, you can see the skin getting tightened. So what are what are the indications? It can reduce the frown lines on the brow and between the brow lift it can it can promote a, a bit of brow lift non-surgical eye lift for hooded eyes and eye bags um in my experience not eye bags the wrinkles under the eyes yes you can do that only lines can be treated tears off can be reduced crow's teeth can be reduced smokers line nasolabial folds jawline tightening wrinkled hands tightening loose skin on the neck remove wrinkled skin from the decollage uh, these are the conditions on the face and apart from that, stretch marks, hyperpigmentation, acne scars, skin tags, uh, mummy tummy. Mummy tummy is like the. Uh, your voice is not audible. Sorry? Uh, still not audible? No, now it's clear. Yes. Voice is audible, but the presentation audible is not audible. At the same time, presentation also is not uh, visible. Okay, okay, okay. Someone else. <laughs> Someone that. else is sharing the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood, understood, understood. But your voice was audible. Yeah, yeah, now it's clear. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So the the doctors who are joining now, they um, or uh, they they by mistaking they are uh, they are clicking on something. That's the thing. Okay. Uh, okay. About the indications, I was speaking about the indications. Okay. 
okay so on the face you can reduce the frown lines the brow lift the close feet the bunny lines the clear trough wherever you have wrinkles wherever you have uh, the troughs and all you can treat and you will get uh, a good result with one session or multiple sessions so apart from the face apart from the face uh, you can also treat stretch marks hyperpigmentation acne scars skin tags removal dpn removal miliar treatment small moles epidermal pigmentations uh, mummy tummy and breast lift okay see mummy tummy and breast lift and all for the indication we can put it like that but mummy tummy i'll show you a picture mummy tummy means it's not like sagging skin it is where after the delivery and all after the when you have the loose skin around the umbilicus and all to a particular limit it can tighten up but not the excess sagging skin don't uh, don't uh, over expect with the machine breast lift and all for the indication i'll tell you you can keep it like that but uh, breast lift and all uh, it's better for the surgical uh, correction sagging skin on arms and overall facial rejuvenation also can be done with a plasma pen and there are other indications with the plasma pen which i have which i'll tell you uh, so that you will you can do a lot of things with the plasma pen itself so what is the what is the advantage of this? a lot of people a lot of doctors have told me doctor i have a rf with i have rf pottery so if you want your voice is not audible so you are not audible not audible sir not audible guys just get started so your voice is cracking sir your voice is not audible <laughs> okay so why plasma uh, doctors if i am keeping it like this uh, can you see the presentation let me yes yes you can see the presentation right when i am putting in the slide yes. show i cannot see the google meet actually that is the main see problem. the presentation right so I I'll keep it like that so that I can also hear the mute mute uh, button and all. Uh, fine. So why plasma? So a lot of doctors were asking me. I have an RF with me, RF pottery machine with me. So uh, what is the use of plasma? What are the actions? Sorry, sir, so can't the... can't see the presentation, sir. Hello. Hello. Can't see the presentation. You cannot see the presentation. You Hello, yes, see the presentation. I can't. Uh, I, 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 it is visible. It is visible. Right. Doctor Hazina, others. Can can't see, even uh, can be, no, sir. No, sir. Can either call and maybe rejoin or something like that. Yeah, you can leave the call. I am audible and visible to everyone, right? Dr. Hasin, I think it's uh, your connection or something. Can we uh, okay, leave and see. then read? Okay, okay, sir. Mm, myself also uh, cannot see this presentation. Let me, let me read. Let me read. Sir, please mute everyone. Uh, yeah, yeah. What sure is, sir? Kya please mute everyone, sir. Sir, mute, mute sir, though. Now, can you see the presentation? Now, can you see the presentation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I can. Okay, thank yes. you, sir. Perfect. Perfect. Myself, not uh, first kindly. Yeah, thank you. I thank can you. See. What, what, sorry. Okay, mute, what about, mute all the mics. Uh, anyways, I am recording this session. If at all, if you are having any trouble after this presentation, I'll I'll send it to you. Please, dear doctors, you mute a mic. I cannot. I I don't know how to mute everybody. So. Please mute your mic, or else I'll dis I'll be distracted. You you cannot also hear anything out of this. Please mute your mic. Okay, coming to the plasma. Why plasma? That was the main question. Even I had in my mind when I started when I when I when I bought the plasma machine. So I have cautery machine. I have RF cautery. So for for mold removal or for all those things, depends and all. We know don't need require we don't require plasma energy. That's what that was my thing in my mind. 
so when i researched when some of the doctors i was talking to who were doing plasma so they told that the plasma actually it is very superficial very controlled thermal procedure so that it won't dissipate the heat energy or the thermal damage too much into the surrounding so that uh, the, the surrounding skin is protected that is first thing less downtime compared to rf or any other machine the downtime is also very less less risky compared to any other surgical or invasive case. Yes. Uh, uh, results can last longer than the normal other any non invasive anti aging procedures. Uh, precision again precision of the plasma is really great compared to the rf and all the precision is very much very much i like the precision of the plasma pen because it is the the, the needle is very much very slender and what we can do is like you can really focus on the pigmentation what where you where you want to hit the target you can really precise so that is one of the other advantage less chance of burns again as i have told you rf cautery and all no matter how much you make it less the heat energy dissipates very much into the surrounding skin so considering plasma i'll show you a video where i i am doing a demo on a yoke on a egg yoke and as you can see the 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 trauma is very much on the superficial yoke and you can just peel out the coagulated egg yolk so that much uh, superficial is the burns or superficial is a trauma induced by a plasma pen less chance of burns and less chance of burns means less chance of post inflammatory hyperpigmentation so those are the advantages of plasma over other equipments so what is the mechanism of action as you know as i have already told you just a second guys just a second uh, as you know the tip of the pen when it uh, it creates a plasma arc and uh, it it, sublim it sublimation happens on the skin and carbonization happens carbonization means darkness or the burn which happens on the skin and tightening or regeneration happens so that is a mechanism of action uh, apart from the fibroblast or collagenogenesis or elastin formation and all these also So periorbital area, when soon after the procedure, you can see almost the carbonization or the tiny crust, almost like this. So as you can see, there are there is a small uh, edema also in the surrounding area. That is also very normal after the procedure. So it is very much safer to do on the eyelid also because the depth of the penetration or the thermal damage is very much superficial and it you won't be hurting your eyeball or you won't be doing anything. So the precision and the, the level of trauma will be very much superficial. And this is another image where you have done a periorbital area, even under eye and the closing also. And this is a picture where, uh, where a person has done only for, um, for the crow's feet. So even this can also be done. So you can see a, a, a particular percentage of tightening even during the procedure and after like in a month's time where the regeneration happens, you can see more, more tightening during that time. So does plasma pen require downtime? So as you know, downtime is a recovery period. That is a downtime. So edema or edema or reaching or whatever, that is called as a downtime. So immediately after the treatment, you will see mild effects such as redness, swelling, small dots along the treatment area. Typically, the scabs will form along the small dots of the treatment area, and these will fall off after in about five to seven days post treatment. For most of the patients, about a week of downtime is preferred when the treatment is done, includes the neck and the face. And I'll tell you in my experience, our Asian skin, our Indian skin, we are more prone for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So inflammation is required, but we don't need too much of inflammation. So in, in our practice, what we does is like, when I do a um, um, plasma pen treatment today, after five minutes, I'll give them a top, a cop, um, like a topical application of some antibacterial with a mild steroid on that day itself, just to minimize the inflammation. We need inflammation, but we don't want inflammation, which is leading to hyperpigmentation. So Asian skin, Indian skin, 
guys be careful whether it is rf or plasma even if plasma pen it re it, it reduces the chances of pih but indian skin we tend to have pih very often as you all know so i do that protocol so coming to the abdomen this is another picture uh, this is actually this picture is after two sessions uh, one and a half months apart two sessions so as you can see there, there are a lot of there was uh, like a lot of uh, sagginess and all in the before and after the procedure soon after the procedure that is what you can see and in after two sessions of procedure you can see this kind of tightening happen and i'll tell you this is just an example so this is you shouldn't expect everybody should have this tightening don't expect that kind of treatment some requires maybe like three to four session some will require just a session so it depends on the skin of the patient it's it depends on the genetic of the patient it depends on a lot of other factors also so it just, not just the treatment after the treatment you can give some in 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 after a week you can tell them to apply some retinol cream some vitamin um, c cream and all those things to promote the collagenesis to promote the fibroblast to uh, promote the elastin and all you can do you can give some good home care also and uh, orally you can give some collagen sachet or whatever just to promote the healing and to give the proper uh, regeneration to the skin so this is where uh, a mummy tummy is being done. So around the periumbilical area, as you can see, there are a lot of wrinkles, as you can see. And after the fibroblast or after the plasma pen, this is how you can do. So it is very much. It should be. It should be like a fractional laser. Okay, it should be like a fractional laser. Uh, what I meant to tell is like there are a lot of vacant space. There are a lot of. Uh, skin in between the skin in between the fibroblast burns so that the healing will be really good you don't want to burn the hundred percent of the skin you just have to burn some areas so that the normal skin will heal faster and your downtime will be reduced so i'll just show you another video just introduction of let me know if you can hear the uh, voice also yes sir hi the doctor so Yes, sir. My dear doctor, so plasma pen, so as we are discussing in the presentation, so we right now I'll be showing you some plasma pen and I'll be recording this video. Uh, for a session, it will be a session of plasma pen uh, for the years. So coming to the plasma pen itself, so this is the plasma pen which I use in my clinic. So almost all the plasma pens uh, are the same. So this is a different plasma pen. Uh, almost all the functions are same, but this was. This was ordered for some of the other doctors and for one of my other clinics. So, um, uh, Dr. Hazina, uh, the voice of the video was it clear? No, sir. No, sir. You, you, you couldn't hear. Sir, for me also. The, you yeah, couldn't, couldn't hear, hear the voice hear. of the video. No, sir. Even the video was also uh, stuck. Yeah, I think. Uh, yes, sir. Video is stuck and voice is not coming. 
Okay, then I'll explain it while uh, while the video I'll, I'll explain that. Okay, fine. So plasma pen. So as we are discussing on the So uh, this is about the plasma pen introduction. Just uh, thought of uh, recording it. So this is the plasma pen which I use, Hello? which I bought Hello, sir, uh, I from abroad. Uh, the picture is not clear. Hello. So that is another plasma pen. Okay, this is a second plasma pen. And this plasma pen is what I have ordered for some other doctors also. We di directly imported it for some of the few doctors so that it was a good price for the other doctor. So again, as you can see, there are like seven, eight energy powers are there. Uh, and you, there is two mode, continuous and pulse mode is there. And that button is for pressing to discharge the electricity. So it comes with around four heads also. It comes with four heads. And um, that four heads, there are a lot of indications to be done uh, for the four heads. So again, the battery can be yeah, it can be removed and charged and then you can plug it so that is how it is done so that is how uh, so that is a pen so that's that's how it comes so those are that those are the heads so there is that a head for electroporation there is a head for acne anti acne there's a uh, uh, head for uh, reducing uh, wrinkles and all and they and again there there are needles also coming with that and apart from the normal needles i have ordered acupuncture needles also with that what is the use of acupuncture needle acupuncture is very much slender so that our trauma will be very much less so normally with the, with the plasma pen they don't give acupuncture needle and all but I have ordered extra for the other doctors also so that our trauma will be very much, very much, very much precise. So a lot of uh, PIH can be avoided. And again, uh, it will be good for the practice. So that is about the introduction of the plasma pen, just to show you the plasma pen. So coming back to our presentation. I'll show you two more videos also. Don't worry. I'll show you two more videos. Sir, well, show me again plasma pen. Actually, yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll put the I'll put the video I'll put the video in the group, doctor. You are the only one you cannot see that. Maybe because of the net. Don't worry. I'll I'll send the video in the uh, okay. in the group. Don't worry. Okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Hello. So coming to the presentation. So this is how we attach the needle. So that is a needle collect. It is called a needle collect. There the needle will be attached. And on that, we will be placing the acupuncture needle. And we will be tightening it. Hello? Hello? And then we'll be using it. Okay, doctors, don't ask me anything. Uh, after this one, we will. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. So back to our uh, PowerPoint presentation. So normally, I'll tell you, uh, when I was buying my first plasma pen, uh, I bought it for actually a uh, huge cost. And then when I had a good contact in in, uh, in in China, China or Korea, whether it's the same thing, they produce almost the same thing. And I had a person there. And for some of the doctors and for one of my clinic, I bought like five to six machines directly. So that import duty and all those things uh, was avoided and that itself reduced the cost so and when i was speaking with the person there are a lot of actually pens like this so some of the pens are called some beauty pen or something where you cannot change any tip or it will be just one machine itself so if you are buying anything kindly look at the composition so 
the plasma pen box which I ordered for some of the doctors, the product composition is almost like this. So it will have a body, it will have a battery pack, it will have a charging cable, and these are the heads, acne tip, acne tip cover, lifting tip, permeating tip, fractional tip, and the tip collets. There are two tip collets are there. Tip collet is there, needle collets are there, and there, there are needles also. These are the product composition which I have uh, on the boxes for which I have ordered for the other doctors. And um, they are also they have also got the product. So coming to the next thing, what are the applications of these tips? Okay, um, acne care uh, tip. I'll just try to show you. There's a tip called as acne care tip. So this is a uh, this is an acne care tip. This is an acne care tip. Okay, this is an acne care tip. So plasma tips dedicated to acne that suppresses excessive ozone. That is, um, there is another thing called as acne cover. Also, is there? So you have to cover this tip with the acne uh, tip cover. It's a it's a yellow color film, and with the film you can use actually on the face. So that uh, I'll show you the how to use and all. And there is a pulse mode for plasma lifting, which is used by which is this tip, which we use this tip. And there is another another thing called as fractional uh, permeating thing. There is a thing, it's hard for me to remove it. Okay, so what is the acne tip? So what happens is like this tip, you can attach this tip to the dedicated film tip cover and then uh, in the third point, as you can see, the continuous mode and intensity seven to nine slowly move the tip as a circle while pressing the short button and touching the acne area. When attaching to the skin, a ring shaped plasma forms at the tip of the film, attach and releases adequate amount of radicals, UV and heat to improve acne. So as you know, the bacterial, ac uh, the acne in the acne, that some of the bacteria are there and these things will be uh, eliminated with the free radicals and the UV, which is released from the plasma machine. That is how you can do. So what you can do is like that is a consumable actually. Doctors, those for those who uh, I have purchased and I have sent you, the film is not there in the box actually because that film is a consumable. That film is a consumable. I'll tell you the cost and it's not that expensive, but the film is a consumable. That's a small thing uh, for like eight tips, eight cover on the it's a plastic film which you can attach and for eight film the cost is around uh, i think around 200 rupees or the 250 rupees so uh, you can do it for eight treatments 250 or 300 rupees you can do it for eight treatments so that that film is required for the free radicals to be uh, discharged from the machine so for an as an anti acne also you can do that totally so before a chemical peel before doing a chemical peel or with a anti acne or uh, for any any um, what can we say any topical or any uh, oral treatment you can do this procedure to just get rid of the uh, bacteria inside the acne so one of the indication apart from the skin rejuvenation anti aging and anti acne with the plasma pen you can do anti acne treatment so uh, again there is another method where acne patch is you can get it in in google in amazon and all acne patch is there again that acne patch you can put it on top of the acne and with this with this tip you can just go in a continuous method seven to nine slowly move the tip at a circle as circle while pressing the short button again what happens is like it will release a plasma energy it will release the same uh, free radicals and it will uh, promote absorption of the ingredients of the patch normally the patch in amazon and in amazon and all when you when you try to purchase the acne patch uh, normally the acne any kind of like what can we say uh, components like niacinamide and all those things will also be there in the acne patch just put it on the acne and then you go and do with the plasma machine again that absorption will also be higher with the plasma pen so this is another indication apart from all these things you can do with a plasma pen uh, anti-aging and wrinkle reduction okay apart from uh, burning and apart from uh, making a micro carbon or micro crust and all this is another thing there 
you can attach you can attach this tip you can attach this tip into the into the pen into the micro pen and what you can use this is like first clean the skin before procedure during the plasma lifting there is nothing to be applied on the skin but if necessary you can apply some primer or high frequency cream some lifting cream and all using the tapping or brushing method so uh, plasma discharges okay there is as you know in the machine itself there is a continuous mode and a pulse mode is there so with the mode you can just tap drag or brush on the skin just to promote collagenogenesis or elastin production or all those things can happen and even if you are applying with a serum or something again that permeation will also be good with the plasma pen and um, cosmetic absorbent okay permeating cosmetic absorbent so this is called as electroporation okay again as you know as i have shown you there is another tip this is a smooth tip similar to this smooth tip there is a fractional trip is also there so what you can do is like in continuous mode uh, you can set the intensity at three to five and you can mildly tap and just move it in a circle direction so that a gentle lymphatic drainage will also happen similarly the absorption the permeation of the serums can also happen what all serums can you apply you can apply any serums niacinamide hyaluronic acid vitamin c tranexamic acid or whatever serums you need uh, without penetration without injecting or without any trauma to the skin you can easily do with a plasma pen and uh, how to uh, put the uh, needle for the plasma arcing that's what i have shown you uh, there is two type of needle uh, collets are there you put that needle collect and you put the needle you tight it anyways if anybody wants this uh, video or anything i'll share it to you don't worry about that so with that you can go and you can create uh, burns or you can create the micro ab ablations so right now moving on to the other two videos i'll be showing you two videos first video is a demo video where i'll be showing that uh, the ablation on a egg yolk just to show you that it is very superficial just to show you that i'll be just showing you the video guys I, I hope you can see the video right now so i'll be just playing it so this is an egg yolk and i have set that uh, parameter to i think around five to seven or something like that but when you do it on a skin you can even decrease the energy in the initial time no need to put the power at five or seven so there there should be a minimum gap of about 5.5 uh, mm to 1 mm between the needle and the skin in order to in order to uh, get the arcing if you're touching the skin the, you cannot see any arcing so this is a plasma arc I, I hope you can see this is a plasma arc This is a plasma arc. So now I am trying to peel out the burn. Look at that, look at that. That is how superficial it is. I have peeled the area, the, the egg yolk where I have ablation. So that is the depth. That is a super, that is very superficial. I just wanted to show you that it is very much superficial and don't worry about deep burns or anything with the machine i am so happy with the machine because in rf and all earlier i used to get burns and all or my my fellow doctors my junior doctors and all when they do a lot of complications used to happen like burns and all and which will turn into pih post inflammatory hyperpigmentation but with the plasma pen that thing is really controlled it is very much precise and especially 
the plasma pen when when i take i take the acupuncture needle also normally uh, the, those people they don't give acupuncture needle so i procure them also with this because i need it very much precise so coming to a, a patient procedure i i'll just i have recorded a video with my sister i did a demo on my sister just to show you guys and play it Uh, video it isn't no, no no doctor i'm just playing it it's just a minute my my laptop was out of power <laughs> i hope you can see the video right now So I'm just playing it. So as you can see, there are a lot of pigmentations on the skin, on the nose and all. So we'll be just taking some sub pigmentations just to show you guys. So as you can see, there is a pigmentation there. And Dr. Ashwati is the one doing that. As you can see, she's just burning that. She's just doing plasma. And look at after the wiping, it is gone. It is gone without any erythema or large trauma as you can see i'll just wipe it and show you after wiping that that is gone that is the beauty of plasma pen as you can see there is a pigmentation over there after rubbing that is gone so epidermal pigmentations or scarring or anything can be just removed by that within within few seconds itself so that is how it is done just uh, as you as you cannot hear anything out of this i'm just chopping that so as you as i have shown you that is how we do okay uh, Yes, doctor. A crust can be formed. Crust is forming only uh, for the eye rejuvenation or all those areas. Pigmentation removal, there is no need of crust. We are just uh, burning it, wiping it out. For the eyes area, periorbital area, wrinkles and all, we are not rubbing anything out. Just we are burning, 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 burning and going, creating crust, creating crust, creating crust, creating crust. We are just moving on like that. But with pigmentation, we will just try to abrade that and we will try to remove it. That's the difference. So coming back to the presentation, uh, maybe like five more minutes is only presentation. I just wanted to cover almost everything. So I hope you can see the presentation right now. So normally frequently asked questions. Is plasma pen safe for skin rejuvenation? Plasma pen is a safe procedure for a variety of skin rejuvenation needs. A good candidate for plasma pen is a, uh, is a someone who has mild to moderate skin, fine lines, wrinkles, atrophic scar, who has a fairer skin tone. So guys, in our Indian scenario, we normally uh, have to, uh, what can we say, interaction with a Fitzpatrick type of two, three, four, five and all. But I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recommend plasma tre tre treatment for rejuvenation or for uh, periorbital or multiple uh, what can we say trauma for a fitzpatrick type of five and six because of ph they can have some ph so safely you can do it for one two three and four but even five and six you can do but uh, the topical application of mild steroids and all you you have to prolong it for maybe like 10 to 12 days just to avoid any ph so how long do the plasma pen results last the result of the plasma pen treatment actually it, it, it is very long lasting particularly when compared to other non-invasive anti-aging techniques for example thread lift uh, or fillers or, or botox and all but uh, as a practitioner i wouldn't say you have to compare botox with uh, plasma pen or thread lift with plasma pen no it's always good the patient can afford always try to mix it and give 
when you are doing botox treatment for the forehead lines some lines if it is really evident you just do um, you just suggest them that plasma pn is also a good option similarly for post fit so whenever you are mixing up the treatments that will give you more and more results than comparing just one procedure with another procedure and does plasma pen work on stretch marks it will work but uh, remember one thing this is not a surgical procedure so it's not like you cannot erase anything out so stretch marks and all thin stretch marks and all with one or two sessions one month or 40 days apart you will get some good results some of the stretch marks you might take it it might take a lot of like few weeks to few months time and definitely with home care products do not be uh like what can we say you don't have to rely only on plasma pen you can do a combination of plasma pen you can do a combination of micro needling if you have laser option you can do even laser options and with the home care you can do plasma pen what is after care for plasma pen so after the procedure you will need to follow a skin a strict skin treatment uh, plan over the course of healing that is five to ten days in order to maximize the results avoid sun exposure no alcohol consumption no smoking no picking at the temporary scabs apply adequate moisturizer and sunscreen daily mandatory and in an indian skin definitely i would recommend any mild steroid topicals for 10 days to avoid pih post inflammatory hyperpigmentation pih 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 dear doctors indian skin is very much sensitive so kindly when i start when i do uh, uh, for example periorbital area today i'll tell my patient to apply thrice daily the uh, steroid cream you can use some mometazone or you can use some desovan or any mild steroid you can tell them to apply for about three times for four days or three days and after that after that you tell them to apply twice daily for about another four or five days then after that you tell them to apply it once daily for another five days totally around 10 12 15 days if you can use that you can avoid pih but remember you need inflammation you are not trying to just cut out all the inflammation you need controlled inflammation so since we are dealing with indian skin you uh, we tell you to apply all these things normally in western countries and all they don't they don't um, uh, tell the patient to apply thrice daily and all but indian skin we tend to get pih a lot faster than the normal people that's why so what are the contraindications so don't worry about the list being shown here plasma pen it is relatively newer technology so there are no studies in pregnant women so definitely try to avoid in pregnant women nursing mothers mental implants pacemakers fever or any current infections anti-acne medication such as um what can we say hydroquinone and all those things uh skin lesions in the area being treated cancers all forms of hepatitis varicose veins in the area being treated bone disease epilepsy autoimmune disease diabetes if uncontrolled keloid predisposition and also these are relative contraindication these are not absolute contraindication but these are relatively contraindication so use your wisdom and you can use that that's the only thing and uh, in my experience uh, dear doctors a return on investment is really good so uh, for the doctors who are just starting your clinical practice uh, i have done mistakes when i started my clinic and all i went and purchased 40 lakhs equipment 30 lakh equipments and all so the return on investment was like it took years and years but say for example this machine it's around when i took i when i bought it uh, uh, for my clinic one machine i bought it for around 1.2 lakh 1.1 lakh and all so after that i got a contact uh, and i imported for some of the few doctors and for for my for my clinic also at that time when we took around five to six machines uh, they directly couriered it to me so in that way uh, there was no import import duty or there was no gst tax and all so we got it for around 65 70 000 rupees we got the machine so say for example you are doing five thousand rupees per session in 10 to 12 patients itself your roi that is a return on investment has been achieved that is how wonderful is a plasma machine so so uh, as a beginner or a pay, uh, as a doctor who has been practicing for a lot of time i would uh, definitely suggest uh, a plasma pen in your treatment in your armamentarium because it is really amazing a lot of doctors are just being starting the uh, use so relatively you will be new a doctor to introduce a plasma treatment into your practice and try to do that so uh, recently like two weeks ago uh, not two weeks one month one and a half months ago i have ordered 
one machine for myself from one of my clinic and a few doctors who are who have joined in this meeting six doctors so totally we bought around nine machines and we got it around 65 thousand rupees including everything so one machine i have in my hand right now if anybody wants that one of the other doctors was telling that they want it if anybody wants oh, this is one option another option is like i am planning to take two to three machines some of the others doctors also were um, uh, asking for a few machines so if anybody wants we will take about five to six machines because more than five or six equipments import duty customs and all will eat our head so i don't want that to happen so we will just import five or six machines if anybody wants in two to three days after this session if anybody wants uh, you you have to talk with my, my dr amrita she is my colleague this is her whatsapp number try to contact in whatsapp so you contact in whatsapp i am planning to take only five to six machines because more than that customers will try to uh, eat my brains so if anybody wants a uh, 10 you just tell them you tell dr amrita uh, we can get it for around 65,000 rupees, including import duty, including everything. Uh, and you have to pay half amount right when we are placing the uh, machine, placing the order. And when it is in the customs, we have to pay the rest of the thing. Okay. And if anybody wants a, a presentation or the video or whatever thing, I can send it to them. So this is about that. But and doctors, dear doctors, don't go for cheap pens. There are a lot of cheap pens are there where there is no heads are there. There is only one tip attached. So the advantage about our um, plasma pen, which I've been using, is like that acupuncture needle. After each use, you can either dispose it, just dispose it. But the pen, which is at, at the, when the tip is attached, I have seen. 15,000 pen, 16,000 pen and all, where the tip is attached. You cannot change any pen or we, they will have only two or three heads. But don't go for all the cheap imitations and all. Those are not uh, plasma. Actually, those are like electric charge itself. So try to get a plasma pen wherever you can. Uh, if you if you can get a plasma pen, you get it. And it is a good investment definitely uh, in your clinic. And I hope you had a good session. And, uh, and that's it. If you have have any doubts or queries or anything regarding that you can just ask dr amrita or in 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 any of the groups you can get dr amrita's number we will be taking anyways we will be taking five pen so most probably tomorrow we will be placing order and in one it will take one month time to get it to us so if anybody wants a pen you can just tell dr amrita and thank you so much for having me and if any doubts you can just whatsapp me thank you Sir, I have one question. Yes, Dr. Aparna. Uh, only doctors can do this or anyone can do this? Uh, I, am, I, I won't be speaking on that because uh, these